Okay, guys, we've got a big fish on here, nice and slow, nice and steady. We've got a big fish on a metalhead fly. Oh, he tossed it right there. Kel Kellogg here, welcome back to the channel. I just wrapped up a guide trip today. We landed over 30 trout pulling metalhead trolling flies, pretty much like that one right there. We played with olive and white, pink and white. They were all working, orange was working. Pink and white was the best, but I'm out here trying some different colors this afternoon just to see if I can generate even better action on a different color metalhead. One of the things I found this morning was that, I'm gonna steer a little bit here, I'm on the troll. Um, one of the things I found this morning was that we were getting some short strikes. We were getting fish coming in and jerking on the tail of the fly, jerking on the hair, and uh, we just weren't hooking a lot of those fish. So I started rigging the flies up with a trailer hook, and I came up with a really fast and efficient way to do that. Let me show you that technique. So the next time you're out on the water and you're getting short strikes on your flies, you might want to give this a try. Let me grab a couple things here, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So here's the fly right here. There's the hook on the fly right there, kind of buried in that marabou up there, up there right you know, under the body of the fly. What I have in my other hand is a number four Eagle Claw bronze ring eye hook. It's just a straight shank hook with a ring eye. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this hook on the fly hook and I'm gonna put the band in the opposite direction of the bend on the fly hook. Let me grab a pliers, I'll be right back, I'll show you how to do it. It's very, very simple. Okay, I'm back. Grab my needle nose, I've got a hold of the hook right there in the position I want it to go on. I'm gonna expose the hook to the fly, which is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start that fly hook right into the eye of that ring eye hook, and I'm just gonna work it right there. It clicked right over clicked right over the barb and let me show you what we got now we've got the standard hook down here right down there and we have a second trailing hook facing upright and that is going to go through the water very smoothly very you know water dynamically it's going to squeeze right into that tail and when a fish comes comes nipping at the end of that tail guess what they're gonna find themselves with that number four ring eye hook embedded right in their jaw. The system works great. Um, I've played with a bunch of different methods of putting a trailer hook or a stinger hook on trolling flies. That is the simplest method I've came up with yet. The fly, the hook won't come back off that fly hook. It binds against the barb. Um, it's a sweet setup. It's a sweet way to rig a trolling fly. You're gonna eliminate a bunch of those short strikes. You're gonna hook fish deeper. You're gonna hook them better, and you're gonna land more fish. Get those flies wet, guys. If you haven't tried flies yet, you're not catching as many trout as you could be, and you're certainly not catching as many big trout as you could be. If you're looking for metalheads or other trolling flies, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com and we will hook you up with the arsenal that you need to go out and succeed while trolling flies. I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll see you soon right here on YouTube, guys. Thanks a ton.